Today's tale began. Kangaroo, she'd been the first to arise. And she began sowing the crops. Ready for some food. She was. She was ready for some food. Fitz, Fritz, Fitzy. She stepped in. In fact, uh, she was a little hungry. A little hungry. And she's a bit greedy. Well, my friend, unfortunately, unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. Because you've joined the children of Savexa. And here, you know, we believe in, uh, believe in, uh, m moderate bedrooms with a bit of, uh, blood splatter. You know, to liven things up. Liven the place up. Oh, kangaroo. Harvesting away, chopping trees. You are adding, girl. You are adding to the colony. Soon you'll forget that, you know, others have died. Oh, you're feeling a bit bad, and uh, I think things are going to go downhill when you uh, suddenly forget that you have unleashed your bottled up feelings. But, well. Can't do much about that, my friend. Can't do much about that. Dude, what are you carrying? Jill Barretta's? Look at you, sir. All decked out. Near. Rhinehide pants. Rhino hide? Rhino. Yeah, pistol. M1. 911. Luger. Man. Guys, they're all. You want a stick? You want a sharpened stick? I can give you a sharpened stick. I'll swap you. I'll swap you for this marble club, my friend. I mean, it's it's an art piece. It is an art piece. People have offered me millions for it. Millions. Para, she got up. Ooh, para, you're gonna chop me up some food. You're gonna chop me up some food. I tell you what. How about, uh, what is the difference? Hmm. Anyway, go fill up that stove for Mr. Uh, Pariah here. You know, just uh, let her do her cooking thing. She's had a meal. She's had her meal. Fitz, you want to join us today and maybe get to doing some work? Some mighty fine work, my friend. Hurrah. Are you not full? Uh, fine. You just eat the good stuff, right? You just, you just eat the good stuff. Hey, kangaroo. No, 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 no. That is not what I told you to do. Hurrah. Hurrah, hurrah. Uh... I feel like you could probably do something a bit more constructive. You know, like cooking. Cooking for my poor, poor colonists. <sighs> Fritz, your first day. Are you excited? I'm pretty excited for you, Fritz. I'm pretty excited. Uh, hmm. I suppose you boys wanna. Yeah, you know, wanna. Pay me millions for some food. I I I take that. Cooking, man, hurrah! It's a sad day you have to cook, my friend. A sad day you have to cook. But you are not really a cook, are you? You're not really a cook. Ah, Fritz. You've joined the simple life, you know. After crashing from your ship up high. You join the simple life to chop trees and roll in the muck like these common folk. You know? Yeah, they struggle on, they struggle on. But they're doing their best. In fact, I swear this stuff's not supposed to be in here. Hmm. No haulers? Feels terrible. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doogie? Feels terrible. You know? You could haul, <laughs> you know? 
Nope, you cannot. I understand, Oogie. I understand. You're an idiot. Cannot be helped, eh? Fritz, just chopping away with your tons of joy and your very low expectations. Just fine, just fine. Alright, people. So, let us have a look at our money, eh? Wealth total. We were, we were on the uh, up and up here. And then suddenly, things uh, just took a bit of a turn for the worse. Turn for the worse. Hmm. Indeed. Indeed. Well, I tell you what, kangaroo. After you've done that, do you want to maybe pop down some defences, you know? Make us feel a little bit better, in fact. Oh no, a heat wave. Uh. Ooh, okay. Uh. Temperature. You know, just because ain't nobody got coolers here. Kangaroo. I need you to uh, assemble me some coolers. You know, just to keep everyone a bit cool. What is going on here? Violence. Violence everywhere. Man, this cat's going for it. He is going for it. That's a uh, interesting point. Did Mr. Mr. Kitty Cat here? Oh, he did die. He got an infection and bled to death. Wow, my friend. Ain't no more panther on panther for you. What's there, sir? Not for me, my friend. And another one. He's got a few bites to him. It's not looking so healthy. Ah, oh, Param. You're off to make me some more meat. Won't argue with that. Right, kangaroo, get to it. Um, probably cancel out these. Feel, uh... <laughs> ventilation is no longer required on, uh, this place here. Alright, kangaroo. I cannot imagine why you would, uh, be over there, but, you know, just finish off this for me. Whoop. What are you doing? Consuming a simple meal. Ay ay ay. Not today, kangaroo. Just, just get this done for me. I know, kangaroo. I know. It's it's hard. It's real hard. It is nearly impossible. Para. Um. Can you do this one for me? Yeah, you know, just help help out kangaroo here before she basically spazzes out. As she's known to do. As she is known to do. Gathering up the last of that wood. Is that what you need? No, kangaroo. You need more. You need more than that, my friend. Look, see, look. Has Para got the right idea? Oop, 18. 36. Come on, Para. 57? You are on it, my friend. You are on it. I don't quite know where you're going to put the other bit, but... Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Uh... Hmm. Kangaroo. God damn it. God damn it, kangaroo. I can't afford for you to just have a break. Not just yet. I feel like if you have a break, you're probably just going to run around outside till you die. Which, uh, seems about right for you, my friend. Seems about... Please tell me you didn't just put it all into those two chairs and table. Oh my gosh. Para. Para, you are fucked up, my friend. Could have finished the cooler instead. You just gonna cook in this heat. Cooking. What's cooking, good looking? P 
Hurrah! Fritz, just working those trees. Working away. Good stuff, Fritz. Because, uh... Without those trees, we're probably gonna... Just die. Alright, you're having a meal in my house. Fair enough. Yep. You're well aware that kangaroo is... Quite possibly broken. What you have to do? I'll let you go do that, kangaroo. You go do that. Ah, uh, hurrah! Come on, come on! You can do it. You know, just give me my. Oof, look at that. All right, hurrah! Sorry, but you got to do one more, one more, so that people can sleep and feel pretty reasonable about themselves. You guys are up. You've had enough of my dump. Oh, God, that's not mine, is it? It's not mine. Mine is gone. In fact, I'm pretty sure. Tribe is just down to Mr. Megasloth only. Mr. Megasloth only. Ah, kangaroo. Look at this great rice harvest you have brought us. You may indeed go to bed. Go to your nice, cool bedroom. Hopefully, uh, once that's completed, you'll feel mighty fine. Mighty fine about your life. Yeah, you're going to feel fine about your life? I don't feel fine about your life, kangaroo. I wish that you felt a little better. You know? I wish you felt better. You know, look. See? You've got a decent room, you're comfortable, tons of joy. I don't know. I don't know how you can't like it here. But you don't. You just... Oh no. Hurrah. You poisoned yourself? You've poisoned yourself? Hurrah. What did I tell you? The hell is going on over here? My God! What happened, people? What happened? I don't know. I do not know what happened. What kind of gear you got? Hmm. Bizarre. Suddenly. They just hated Ray. And Ray bit the dust. Hi, right, Pariah, you can, you can do that. How are you feeling? Right, you have enough rest, my friend, so... Go grab that for me. Go grab that for me. Fritz, she strode across the forest land, heading towards the gun gun that could possibly save our lives. If it was the only modern day weapon we had, apart from our sharpened sticks and clubs, Fritz, she would be a modern day hero with that. A modern day hero. I feel like the rest of this stuff could uh, quite possibly just stay. Man, what happened to you? They just all opened up on you, eh? Poor guy. Heat stroke. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe they just flipped out in the heat stroke and shot you in the face. You got a visitor. Old Wooly, eh? Old Wooly. Well, Wooly. I don't know if we really have time for your shit. Alright, Fritz. Uh, strip her. And... All that back. In fact, what's worth more? You know what? I'll just let you haul that back. Yeah, it's a dead body. I know, Fritz. I know. Just, just ignore it. Like everything else. Like everything else. Ooh, 
Uh, hurrah, bro. It's flimmin' hot in there, my friend. Flimmin' hot. How about... Uh, actually... Yeah, I'll let you go to bed. I'll let you have a snooze. Make yourself feel a little better. Don't want you losing your marbles either. Especially, uh, especially when you're tired and you're hot. And you possibly need to get rid of some of that heat stroke. You know, it's nice and chilly in your room. Are you not glad that you built the passive cooler? I am, para. I am. I am happy for you indeed. And thus, another day came to an end for the children of Savexa. Some locals had visited, become angry, a fight, maybe about one of the girls. Maybe it was about kangaroo. Who knows? Who knows? Tune in next time for the adventures of the children of Savexa. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.